In this video, I will show you how you can make 500 plus paid subs a day just from Twitter. And I will give you the entire breakdown on this traffic source without leaving anything behind. So after this video, you can start making money. Disclaimer, I'll just say Twitter, even though it's renamed to X, whatever, you know what's up. I just don't feel like saying like Twitter or X the entire video. There are two things you want to do on Twitter, very logically. So first of all, you want to get attention to the creator's profile. And second of all, you want to convert this attention to your ROF. So the way you do it is a bit tricky and I can give you a quick disclaimer. Twitter as a traffic source for the beginning is not recommended, okay? So the problem with Twitter is the algorithm isn't as nearly as strong as for example TikTok. Twitter takes time. I can say that right from the beginning. If you're a complete bloody beginner and you don't, you haven't even gotten your first sub yet, don't try Twitter because it's gonna take one, of, one or two months until you start seeing some traction. This is just the way it's built at the moment. So not recommended for complete beginner, but but if you're making like if you grant from wife already this is the perfect time to start doing twitter and the way you get attention to the profile is by viral topics. I mean, there are a lot of retweet groups and like for like and all this stuff. We don't cover that here because if you want to do that, you can, but nobody has access to them and most of the time they're shit. The way you get attention completely for free and completely, let's say, legal for Twitter policy is let's take like a very viral topic. Doesn't matter if it's politics, doesn't matter if it's some celebrities, doesn't matter if it's like YouTubers boxing and there are two sides, doesn't matter. You want to take a side you want to decide okay on which side am i on like not personal but where like the more horny guys you choose the side like you want to defend and have your opinions about then what you do is you just find 50 to 60 posts about that special topic and you defend the side you chose before with your creators, models, account, whatever. Because what's gonna happen is the guys on Twitter, they're scrolling like eight hours a day on Twitter, they're fucking nerds. What they see is, okay, first of all, a hot chick, like saying the stuff I'm thinking as well, defending my point, being funny, so she, she maybe did some joke or was a bit ironic and then, haha, some Redditor moment, whatever. And they think, oh, super cool, click on the profile. And then you have the attention on the profile. We're gonna stop right there because after that, like the conversion starts. And before I get into that, let's talk about attention so that way you get attention just choose a couple viral topics and to put as many comments out there as possible the Twitter algorithm changes a lot recently after Musk bought it etc so I can't give you an exact number on how many comments you can do in a day before getting shadow banned or whatever but basically put out as much out there as possible so 40 50 comments a day search the posts comment something funny ironic or like bring a joke don't be sexual like every single girl on twitter does this and it, i can't get this into my mind why you would be so lazy every if you go to like whoever is famous on twitter if you go to their comments you see a lot of those of girls already they put like a comment there oh i wish you would have to my mouth or whatever, maybe we have to censor this. Like, they just post sexual shit. And it doesn't make sense because everybody knows what's up. They comment under their posts, no, I don't want to see or OF, whatever. It's like a meme on Twitter if you're in this space. So, you don't want to be sexual, you want to actually give value to the people on Twitter, which is value entertainment. It's the same, because that's the only thing they're on there for. So, stick to your political opinion you chose to defend the side and also keep paying attention to the news to twitter etc just keep on scrolling because you'll find some very viral topics for example at the point of this video like dylan dennis and logan paul like some youtuber boxing fight whatever got very viral on twitter after logan paul's wife was like a hoe and dylan dennis exposed it whatever like twitter was burning and this is the stuff you want to do because what we did and what brought us like so super heavy amounts of money. I believe it brought us like two or 300 subs a day just from this. We just got onto Logan Paul's site and defended him. So we were just like, hey, Dylan Dennis is really an asshole for like trying to defame his fiance and stuff. And all the guys were coming to our profile defending us. All the white knights, all the sims, they just woke up. They felt violence, bruv. They wanted to defend it. And they love that there's one girl who's hot, who has the same opinion. They felt like they found the love of their life and they all came and subscribed 
subscribed and spent money. So this is what you want to do. Now, after we got that handled, I'm sure you'll find some creative ways on getting attention. This is just like a short breakdown because I don't want to talk for like three hours. You get the point, that's how you get attention. Now we're coming to the conversion because now we're at the point where a lot of people are clicking on your profile. They're clicking on it, seeing the tweet, seeing the profile, the bio, the link, whatever. And here's how you can fuck it up. If you're just the next OF girl on Twitter, every tweet is something sexual or like a pig in lingerie, and your bio is like 10 fire emojis, 15 jalapeno emojis, 80% off, see everything from me for like five cents, I'm the biggest slut here, whatever. No one's gonna give a fuck because now you're just like some adult star. Like they're not, they're not gonna give a fuck. They know, okay, it was a marketing method, whatever. Like they could just go to like any other porn site, whatever, they don't care. So this is how you fuck this up. The way you make it work is by being a real girl, being a person, having a personality, being authentic. So don't try to be too sexual because they know what's up. And if she's hot, as you know, like most of the guys, they don't really need much motivation to jerk off so what you want to do is you just post like the normal day of the girl and here's wh where it's going to get interesting because nobody tells you this in this space i believe i've never heard someone talk about this this way buckle up what you do is you need to start thinking like a girl because you have to write those tweets right let's say you imagine how your creator lives their typical day as a cute girl a bit shy whatever first tweet in the morning blah 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 if I don't get, like the tweet is her, she just woke up, maybe like some messy hair, and she's like, mm, looking a bit sleepy, and she's like, okay, if I don't get Starbucks in the next three minutes, I'll definitely take a nap again or whatever. Something funny, something cute. No sexuality involved, okay? This is what's gonna convert the people because it's like, they love this. They love the personality. Of course, it's ha it has to fit like the personality and the political side you chose before. So if you're like branding your chick as a complete liberal, as a complete Democrat, don't, make a picture where like the American flag is hanging in the background. This is just common sense, but I feel like I have to say this again. But first tweet, then second tweet, her walking to volleyball practice because okay, she, like the girl, she got Starbucks. Now she's gonna go to the gym or whatever. Maybe in the gym, post like a mirror selfie where she shows her ass a bit. It's not sexual, but it's appealing. People like it. And then when the evening time comes, post a few tweets here. Maybe you can hard pitch them as well, hard sell them. Then in the evening, actually post like the OF link and the picture on laundry. You can do that as well but it should be like an accessoire to the whole page this shouldn't be like the main focus just do it so the guys want to be converted can convert and the rest just follows you and the main point is just keep being active because there are two types of people the first ones who are gonna click the link directly subscribe to your app they're out of the rotation they're out of the funnel you got them convinced but the other half and it's a majority of the people they're just gonna follow the profile and keep and like just watch the profile what she's doing the next few weeks and those are the people who I refer to as free money because they're just in the rotation. They just see the tweets. So if you keep being active, if you keep being shown on their For You page, etc., if you do it right and if you post some girly stuff, some sexual stuff, some funny stuff, sometimes just the OF link, sometimes a hard pitch like, okay, I'm gonna do X crazy stuff for this evening. Make sure to keep being subscribed. Like every single one of them will get converted after another. So make sure to keep being active. And this is, to get to the point from the beginning, this is where where the full cycle ends. You need to be active and it will take some time because in the beginning, the Twitter algorithm is very hard to predict, right? You'll comment under some viral stuff, you'll get some followers, maybe you get one or two paid subs a day. After two weeks, you got like a good following, at least maybe a few thousand people. Okay, now your tweets are gonna get shown to more people. Maybe you land on the For You page on Twitter. Maybe you land like a viral comment that goes viral a lot, then you get more people. So it's gonna take time to build up. And especially with Twitter, there are a lot of pages that you can land on that post like funny comments or retarded comments and once you get quite big like large twitter pages will start retweeting you will start posting pictures or screenshots of your tweets and then you're like in this upward spiral we just get viral every day. So don't worry, in the first few months, it's gonna take a while. But if you start doing this now, the time I'm filming this video right now, if you start doing Twitter right now, like at this exact point, by around Christmas, you're only already gonna make like 100 or 200 paid subs a day, just from Twitter. To be completely honest, like after we built like a six figure agency, 90% of all the subs still come from TikTok. But I can tell you like the rest damn 10% all come from Twitter because it's so powerful and it's just not 
not really much work. You can just outsource it. Just get like a VA searching like 50 different posts you can comment on. You just write something, bam. You just do it like every day, like a routine and you just keep making money. Super powerful and it's also an asset because once the OF gets banned out of some reason, you want to have some backup and you want to have some following on social media so you can convert them to another site. So sit down if you're already doing Twitter, think what I've just said, think okay, what strategies you can implement, what you can do and if you've not started yet, definitely start at least creating a profile, maybe funnel some people from TikTok, from Reddit, from dating apps to Twitter, to OF. That way you can get a quick following and that's it for this video. So keep on working, wish you a successful week and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.